Hello young and restless fans and welcome back to Bold and Restless Channel. Billy pays off an employee named Simone at the GCAC for a tip and then joins Tucker at the bar. The two engage in banter about married life and Billy uses the opportunity to inquire about the status of the plan involving Jabot. He expresses his doubts about Ashley's decision to leave Jabot behind and start her own company with Tucker. Tucker dismisses Billy's concerns, suggesting that Ashley's priorities have shifted and that they no longer need Billy's involvement. Meanwhile, at the ranch, Victor welcomes Nate to discuss SNA's business plan. Nate offers a frank assessment, pointing out the lack of cohesion in the early planning stages. He attributes this to the ongoing friction between the Abbott brothers and the brothers' differing priorities. Nate raises concerns about Adam's fixation on Newman Media and the potential negative impact on SNA's success. Victor listens attentively as Nate shares his insights. In another corner of Genoa City, Victoria runs into Ashley at Society. Victoria offers her congratulations on Ashley's new venture with Tucker, but quickly shifts the conversation to her concerns. She questions Ashley's decision to leave Jabot behind and wonders if she's truly ready to let go of her father's legacy. Ashley assures Victoria that she and Tucker are moving forward and that everything will be fine for Billy. However, Victoria remains skeptical and senses that there is more to the story. Back at the GCAC, Billy continues his conversation with Tucker, pressing him on the issue of Diane's involvement. Billy suspects that Diane's presence poses a threat to Jabot and suggests that Ashley's decision to leave might be influenced by her desire to protect the company. Tucker taunts Billy, implying that he's more interested in pursuing his own ambitions and that he's not trustworthy. Their conversation escalates, revealing the underlying tensions and rivalries. Ashley meets Tucker in their suite, and they discuss their new start together. Despite Tucker's reassurances, Ashley still harbors concerns about Diane's influence and the future of Jabot. She shares her worries with Tucker, who tries to ease her doubts and assures her that they can overcome any challenges. Ashley's determination to protect her father's legacy clashes with her desire for a fresh start with Tucker. Back at the ranch, Victor convenes a meeting with Sharon, Nick, and Adam to discuss changes in the business plan. They reach a decision to fold SNA into Newman Media, a move that surprises Adam. Adam questions his father's sudden change of heart and suspects that there might be more to the decision than meets the eye. The power dynamics within the family continue to shift as they navigate the complexities of their business ventures and personal relationships. As the drama unfolds in Genoa City, relationships are tested, alliances are formed, and the characters' ambitions collide in a web of intrigue and rivalry. The ongoing power struggles and the pursuit of control drive the narrative forward, leaving the characters to grapple with their own desires and the consequences of their actions. That's it for today. Let us know your thoughts in the comment, and remember to subscribe for more spoilers and updates.